welcome to this video lecture series on C programming. Today's topic of discussion is on files used in a C program. So in this session let us see which are the different files that are used. The first one we call it as the source file. Then you have the header file, object file and the executable file. Now you have a program written. Let me take one simple example. So I will just write one simple program. And then I will explain you how all these files are getting interrelated. Actually it is not a classification of files. It is just one file which is having the relation with the header file, object file and executable file. So the first one you call it as the source file. Source file is your source program. Now what do you mean by source program? If you are writing a program to add two numbers then you are writing like this. Now this is the program written here to add two numbers. In this program whatever you have written you are giving a name to this program. So for this program you have given the name as add and you are writing with an extension dot c. So all c programs that are written will have an extension dot c. Now this becomes your source file. So that is what is the first type. Whatever program you are writing using the high level language becomes the source file. And now the second type header files are included here in the source file only using the hash include preprocessor you may include std io.h then you have different header files here to perform different functions so let me tell you about the header files now which header files are there the first one you can write it as std io.h now this std io.h normally you might have seen that here i have written include std io.h so all header files will get included using the hash include preprocessor now when you write stdo.h because in your program if you want to perform the standard input output functions like printf and scanf for these functions you require stdio.h header file that's the reason you are including that file the second one is stdlib.h standard library.h now this is mainly used for miscellaneous functions for example communication with the environment you are using exit it will exit from the program to abort the program you are making use of this you have the string.h string.h contains functions for manipulating the string like for example str cpy you can use to copy one string into another to determine the length of the string you can use str len then to concatenate the strings you can use str cat like this the different string manipulation functions can be done if you are including in your source program string.h then you have math.h mainly used to perform the mathematical functions so here suppose any point of time if you want to get the square root of a number then you are using what sqrt is the function if you want to make uh, the absolute value return for an integer then you have to make use of abs mathematical functions can be performed by including the math.h header file you can include this header file conio.h for clearing the screen see normally in the program you are using what clrscr screen clear screen function that can function if you are using conio.h then apart from this to perform an input output on the console that is to take the input from the keyboard to display the output on the screen you have to make use of conio.h like your functions get ch put ch will get included in conio.h then you have one more type of header file it is called as alloc.h okay this is mainly used for dynamic memory allocation so using the dynamic memory allocation the size of the data structure can be changed during the runtime suppose if you are having in the program you have declared the array size as let me take one example 9 so what will happen the, all these 9 locations will get what the indices 3 4 5 6 7 since you have declared it as 9 it will be from 0 to 8 so you have declared the size of the array as 9 but you are making use of only 5 then 4 indices will get wasted. Sometimes you have declared the size of the array as 9 but you need additional 3 or need totally 12. So at this point of time you are in need of what extra 
indices. So in this kind of situations, the size of the array can be changed during the run time. So not only array, I am talking in general about the data structures, the different data structures which are using in the program. So the size of the data structures can be modified here during the run time. So this is about the alloc.h. So you can just see here the different header files. alloc.h is one. Then you have studio.h, std library.h, string.h, math.h and conio.h. So for these purposes you will be using here. Here in the example I have included std io.h. I have included clear screen here but I have not included the corresponding library file so it will give an error if i am not including conio.h here in this program the third type is the object file now whatever program you have written add.c this is what this is a source file now this source file has to get converted into object file because the source file is written using the high level language the machine does not understand the high level language so it has to get converted and it will get converted into what the object files and one more point i wanted to include here header files will have extension dot h object file will have extension dot o or dot obg so here is your source program whatever you have written fine so this program will get converted into object file means into a binary language in a language in which the machine understands to get this particular file executed the linker comes into picture and the linker is one which uses this object files to produce an executable file so that is your fourth type of the file and this will have extension dot exe so this is how you can relate the files you started with the source file and in the source file you are making use of the header files to perform all the related functions which you want to include in your source program then the source file has to get converted into object file that is in a language in which the machine understands the linker will convert this object file into executable file hope you find this session useful if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care